It's Oscar Smith. It's Bayside. Who you got this time? Oh, Oscar Smith's at home in this one. Bayside won that classic two years ago, 42 to 40, as they went on to the state playoffs, losing to Hermitage in the semifinals. But the Tigers going for a third straight, uh, state championship since 2008. They're a team on a mission. Bayside, the last team in the region to beat them, and they've got a lot of firepower to give the Tigers a tough test. And right out of the gate, it's Deshaun Blow going deep. Doesn't have a man this time. It's intercepted by Jamez Brickhouse, the sophomore defensive back, making a play for the Marlins. Yeah, big play there by Brickhouse. Going up, taking it right out of the sky. This is the kind of plays you're going to need if you are Bayside, if you want to knock off Oscar Smith here. Here's Deshaun Blow, who's going to try and look past that last interception. However, he's going to throw another pick. And look at this, a wall of Bayside blockers. And the Mar Marlins looking to push this one down the field. Dante Hargraves, the sophomore defender, putting the Marlins in business. Taquan Smoke, Mizell, the running back for Bayside, committed to UVA. He'll find the end zone for a 22nd time on the year. And fun time to shake, fans, shake hands with the fans. You got it. And the extra point, though, for Matt, is no good, though. So Bayside will lead it 6 to nothing with just under three minutes to go in the second quarter. Yeah, you can't make mistakes like that when you're trying to knock off a team as talented as Oscar Smith because just any minute they can explode. And right there, we just a few minutes ago said and uh, highlighted the great defensive play by Brickhouse. Right there, he gives up a big penalty on pass interference, and that allows the drive to continue. And that gives this man time to find a receiver. That is Deshaun Blow finding his receiver in the end zone for the touchdown. Deshaun Hatton off the bench with a 20-yard touchdown catch. An extra point away from taking the lead. Oscar Smith gets it 7-6. to six. They head to the locker room on top. So Bayside gets three interceptions. But they got to feel a little demoralized, Matt, to be down a point to start the third quarter. Yeah, but here's Deion Stitt. He's going to try and find a receiver. However, it's tipped and intercepted. That's going to be Chapel going 20 yards the other way, finding the end zone. And just like that, the offense, or the points, I should say, for Oscar Smith starting to come in bunches. Sometimes your defense needs to spark your offense, and that might be the case for Rich Morgan and the Tigers. You see Coach Morgan winning over 90% of his game since coming to Oscar Smith 11 years ago. And here's Blow. Got a guy over the middle. It's Jalen Bradshaw wide open, and he'll run it in 30 yards for the touchdown. Oscar Smith now up 21-6 to in the closing seconds of the third quarter. It's going to be the handoff as Blow finds his tailback, going to push it up the field on the carry. That's Marcus Smith, who's able to punch that one in the end zone. And just like that, Oscar Smith's offense is just revving and running here as Blow once again under center, hands off to another tailback. And the Tigers have found their groove. Darren Flowers with the touchdown run. Usually the defensive end uh, doing all the plays on defense as he was a Southeastern District Defensive Player of the Year, but that time getting it done on offense. And here is Taquan Mizell as he will be smoking the Oscar Smith defense here for a 70-yard touchdown as Mizell gets another score in this game. But it's not enough as Oscar Smith just too much. The defense sets up the pass. The pass sets up the run. The Tigers prevail 35-12. to Marcus Smith with 180 yards rushing and a touchdown. Deshaun Blow 123 yards through the year and two TDs. Mazel with 175 yards in his final game in a Bayside uniform before he heads off to Charlottesville and Quinn Blanding with five receptions for 61 yards.